Greetings, mind crafters, and welcome to another Minecraft discussion. Whoops, where'd he go? Giovanni. That's Giovanni, and I'm, and I'm Kimberly Quinn, and we are here to be your host and hostess with the most emosis. This is Beaver Pond number two behind me, and uh, I was hoping Henrietta and Frederick would be on that little island out there, but they're not. They are, mal they're a mallard couple. They fly together all the time, and Giovanni's oblivious, which is kind of cute because he's a golden retriever and he doesn't even notice the ducks very very cute he also is not a huge fan of the deep not a swimmer so he likes to go into the shallow and cool himself off off also kind of funny also kind of not cool because that just shows we don't have to we don't really have to uh buy into the genes if we don't want to we get that could be a whole nother episode for for stuff that uh maybe we just don't care for we can just not subscribe to that as they say i'm fluent and young adult now though it does change by the week, but that's what they say now. I don't subscribe to that or whatever it is. Um, so you don't have to subscribe to uh, being, uh, you know, a, a swimmer of the deep if you don't want to, or to chase ducks. He's way more into squirrels, although that fits. All right, so anyway, so what I want to talk about, the last video, we were talking about three things that the, the summer is a great time to get started with. And again, so if you're watching this in the fall, the winter, stay with it because it's really, the content isn't different. It's a good, this is a good time. Any time of the year, 365 with leap year. I just think, I just think it's a little easier in the summer because summer is just gentle. You know, summer is gentle. Summer is kind. Summer is just easy. It slows it all down. It, look at the bluebird behind me. And this is in Northern Vermont, which is last I, I knew, I think it's either second or third to Seattle. Burlington is the city of Burlington for cloudy cloudiness. In the summer, we even get a lot of good sun, which is just, it's just easier. It's light out, I think, right now till Memorial Day weekend here. And even, uh, you know, we're not, we don't usually say that because it gives context to a video, but the content is all, you can use it whenever. Um, it's Memorial Day weekend, which generally kicks off summer. We also mentioned that now it's uh, the fashion police deem it okay to wear white, which is so stupid. I mean, you can wear white whenever you want to. Obviously, I don't know who came up with that rule. It's kind of dumb. Anyway. Uh, so, so rather than going to work in the dark, coming home in the dark and feeling like a bat, now, uh, you know, it's light out. It currently, there was a blue jay. We have four of them on our back deck. I watch them. I watch them in the afternoon. Oh my gosh, they're amazing. So and now it gets, it gets, it stays light out till about 8.30, I'd say, as we're approaching the, the longest day, which is soon. Isn't it June 1st? I don't know. Anyway, I think so. Maybe not. It's in June. So now is a really good time. This, it, the veggies are in season. We don't have to shovel if you're in a place where there's snow. It's easier. It's easier to develop better eating habits. Easier to develop, you know, you know, breaking through the couch potato thing and doing something athletic and physically active. Um, it, it's just easier. So here's another three things. We talked about three things last time. Here's a new three things. It is. It is. A, summer's a great great time to come up with a not to do list. Interestingly, I have used that. It's actually on a PowerPoint. I'm not a fan of PowerPoints actually, but when I'm away doing something like a big talk at a college or university or something, it's just, it's, it's kind of essential just to have a few, few visuals. And so when I put the one up there about the not to do list, geez, definitely a fan of the not to do list. No question. He's a really good napper. Um, you can find something in your day. And I actually have a picture of it, just like you have a to-do list with the, it has the pen or pencil and it has the, you know, the, 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 the writing pad. And it says on the top, not to do. In each and every day of our lives, we can, there is no question we can scratch something off of there. You know, maybe it's emailing, you know, this one or that one. Hey, manana. No, not today. I'm feeling too good. I'm calling in well. No, thank you. Look at this bluebird. Look at this stellar day out here. So a not to do list, scratch something off. You don't have to return every single call or every single email on this day. You just don't. Okay. And the next thing which creates, because that's a saver of life minutes, not to do lists save our valuable life minutes. There's nothing more precious to us than those, right? Because in the end, that's all we got, right? And so when we, when we have a not to do list and, and we save life minutes by making more space, to do things we want to, then enters in the second thing, which is do something each and every day that makes your heart sing. It can be so simple. In fact, the simpler, the better. Um, you know, if you take five or 10 minutes just to sit, just to be, have a tea, have a hot tea, which is one of my favorite simple pleasures in the whole world. Have a hot tea, read for a bit, read some positive affirmations, go out on a back deck or porch or outside, wherever you live, you can find a little spot. 
And if you say, oh, you don't know my schedule, you don't know my schedule, I can't, I don't have 10 minutes today. Well, this day is not coming back. And what Tony Robbins would say is, if you don't have 10 minutes, you don't have a life. And it's just, just saying, no one is in charge of your schedule but you. That's just, you know, it's, it's like an accountability thing. It might hurt, but, you know, that is the truth. No, we don't understand. This one needs that. And it's still all up to you. It might be hard, but it's still up to you. Okay, so we have a not-to-do list. We have to do something each and every day that makes your heart sing, even if it's just for 15 minutes, the hot tea, hot chocolate, um, creamy this time of year. I was actually surprised, wonderfully surprised in the Vermont Digger, I think it was. They put little dots all over the state of Vermont for every single restaurant or like creamy shack or lunch spot or whatever that had that was licensed to serve soft ice cream. And it was this whole state of Vermont was covered. That's awesome. So get yourself a creamy, something like that. Okay, and then lastly, after the not to do list, to do something that makes your heart sing, is make, create, just make something to look forward to this summer before it's over. It does not have to be a huge vacation. If you can do that, that's wonderful. Of course, just like anything else, usually it's the anticipation that's the most fun. Just like before the holidays, all the prep, although not always, I shouldn't use that example because if, if you're the one doing all the work, maybe it's, it, maybe that's not the best example. Let's well, think of a little kid before Christmas or Hanukkah. You know, there's the anticipation that when it actually comes, they open the gifts like, oh, okay, Debbie Downer, you know, little, you know, um, when, it, when it's all over. But the, you know, it is fun. To, it is fun to plan stuff. It's fun to plan a big vacation. It's fun to, it's fun to plan a weekend away. It's fun to plan a day trip. And, you know, there are all kinds of things. If you look, of course, now everything's online for the most part. There's all kinds of stuff going on up here. I know there, there's all kinds of stuff everywhere. And up here, um, there's lots of stuff that's either, that's either free or really cheap. There are all kinds of little, you know, jazz, you know, bands playing around and bluegrass and little, you know, towns have their, their have their festivals. They're super economically accommodating. So it doesn't have to cost a lot of money. And, um, you know, you can get really good at finding those those uh, things going on. You just sit on the grass, you're listening to good music, have a hot dog. You know, baseball games sadly have gotten expensive, which is kind of a pet peeve I have. And also movies. I have a thing with that. Because back in the day, a, a kid, you, you should, in my opinion, you should be able to go to a ball game or a movie with an average allowance, if you if you got an allowance or paper route money or whatever, you know, small scale, and it's gotten really expensive. But you can steer clear from that if you want to. And uh, drive-ins are fun though, because you um, you know you can pack more people in the car. Not always true now, because sometimes they charge by the person. But still, on the scale of things, that's a quite a simple pleasure. But something to look forward to, and maybe more than one something. Call up a friend you haven't seen in a long time and just. Plan a lunch, plan a picnic. This is such a great time to do a picnic. But the human mind, this is all part of the well-being thing. We've got to have something to look forward to. We need that. We need that. We need that, That just that something on the calendar. And we're not residing there because we're residing here. We just know that that, that that is coming. So not to-do list, do something that makes your heart sing and plan at least one thing. If you have three things before the summer's over, you're on a, you're on a, a really good track, really good track, because it really does have, um, it really just feeds the happiness, right, G? Yeah, totally. Okay, awesome, three things. I know there was another three things since the last three things. This is Kimberly Quinn signing off from the beautiful, this is Beaver Pond number two. Uh, have a mindful day.